Hello everybody, Stuart from Supermachine here. I'm excited today to announce the control net integrations with Supermachine. We've added the Canny model, which opens up a lot of possibilities for your AI image generation. With Canny, you can upload an image and create new images of that design. What I mean is when you use Canny, it takes a blueprint of that image and you can then create entirely new images with exactly the same structure. You'll see in the thumbnail of this video, I've used this method to turn a selfie of myself into the Hulk. It's super cool, it's super fun. So let's get into a quick tutorial of how you can use this for yourself. Hello everybody. In this video, I want to go over ControlNet and in particular, the canny model that we have introduced in Supermachine now. You'll see all of the images that I am scrolling through now, I have created with the canny model, including this awesome Hulk selfie of myself. What this does is it allows you to upload a reference image and then provide all the details like you would in a normal prompt and get an image out, which will have exactly the same blueprint as that reference image. So for example, this selfie, if I hit clone generation, it's gonna copy the prompt, the negative prompt and all of the settings in so I don't have to do that again. But you'll notice this new setting here. So we have control net, we can toggle this on. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to set the sampler to dpm2m Karas, which i like to use i can then upload an image so i'm going to upload a selfie of myself that i took earlier today and then i can choose to generate some images of this so when i hit generate it's going to queue these up and these will complete in a minute to show you another example what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this image here and we're going to copy this one as well. So snow capped desert with Northern lights. I can just come in. I can reset the image that I had. I have this awesome image that I took from unsplash earlier and I can say, okay, give me two of these. And it's going to take this quite barren, quite boring desert image. And it's going to put some snow on it and also hopefully make some fun stuff in the sky for us to see. So you see here, we have a couple of these Hulk images that have generated already. So these are really quite fun because it's taken the outline of my face. You see it's taken some of the details that I had below. It's got the outline of my chair and it's really given quite an awesome image. And again, with these images here, you'll see in the original image, we have this point here, we have this longer uh, cliff here, and then this other point here, and it's mapped that across here. So we have exactly the same things, and again, on this image here. So Canny Control Net is a great way for you to be able to take different images and transform them into something completely new. So let's now look at this awesome London scene. I always love that film. Uh, however many weeks later, how many, however many days later, the, uh, the zombie uh, apocalypse film. And what I love about it is it shows London in kind of a state where it's declining after a big post-apocalyptic event like that. So we're gonna take this image of London and we're going to change it to put some moss on it, nature and overgrown. So we're gonna get some awesome images out like the ones that I created earlier where the taxi has moss on it. We have the buildings having moss on it and it just transforms it into something completely new and quite unique. The next example that I want to show, which might be useful for people who are doing more graphical design stuff, is changing a logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a logo of the Riku logo. 
and I'm going to say logo on fire, ice and flames, and I can hit generate on this. And it's going to take this quite boring uh, corporate style logo and it's going to transform it into something else. So you see here, my London images have completed. We've got this awesome uh, picture with the moss on the taxis and you have this awesome London image as well. And you see what it's done to this logo. So it's completely transformed it into something new. So if I wanted to create a thumbnail or create something for social media and I wanted to jazz up my logo slightly, then doing something like this is really an easy way to do it. The final example that I want to show in this video is how you can combine the control net with our consistent characters. So I found this image of somebody doing yoga and I thought this would be great because we have our consistent character Sukamoto and the way that we trained Sukamoto was to have these buns in her hair so I thought oh this is going to be brilliant so we can say a photo of Sukamoto using the tags that we've got from our consistent characters here and just a recap on that if I want to use one of these characters, I can find them and I can click and it's gonna add the tag that we need at the end of the prompt. Because I've already done that and moved it to the front, I don't need to do that again. And I've just put doing yoga 4K masterpiece stunning. And then from this image, I'm just gonna change it to be a landscape image. I can hit generate and it's going to give me some images of Sukamoto doing yoga. And here are some of the ones that we did earlier. You see that they are really cool. It's changed that original image into our consistent character. And we have got some really awesome outputs on that. So there are lots of things that are possible when you play with the canny control net. So there we have it. That is the canny control net. There are lots of use cases, whether you want to put specific characters into a specific scene, whether you want to take a selfie like I did and change it into a Hulk character or whatever you have in your imagination, or change a scene into post-apocalyptic, add snow, add Northern lights. There are a ton of utilities when using control net. All you have to do, come into your Super Machine account and toggle ControlNet on. You'll then be able to upload an image and you'll be able to use the Canny ControlNet today. So please do try it out. Thank you. So there we have it. The Canny model from ControlNet opens up a lot of possibilities for your AI image generation needs. I'm really excited to explore more options with transforming logos, transforming business assets, as well as having a lot of fun, turning myself into the Hulk, turning myself into Iron Man, turning myself into lots of different characters. Try it out today in Super Machine and keep a close eye because we're gonna be adding more control net models in the future. So if you want to be kept up to date of when these come, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll have a guide on new models as we add them. Thank you.